Can I challenge you again? Uh, yes, Summer, if you can challenge me again, I'll accept your challenge. Let's take on d5 here, guys. A knight here. Uh, let's go for this very fun variation with queen e6, which objectively is terrible, but Magnus Carlsen has tried it before. And here the idea is to go queen g6. Completely, <laughs> it looks like uh, a complete beginner is playing. Just moving his queen around the board, but the idea is to take this pawn, yeah? These to capture a pawn on g2. So the, this is actually Chica Boni Piesnia, Servidi. No, some kind of Russian song. Yeah, I wonder, Cats Chess. That's a good question. A g3 is very slow here, but. Uh, it's understandable as well. Can I try and go e5 or is that overextending? Yeah, I wonder if e5 knight f3 knight c6 is possible. Though to be honest, it seems to be too much of the good stuff. Let's just go bishop f5 here, get the bishop out. Threatening a pawn on uh, c2 as well, actually. Now what to do next? I can go e6, I can go knight e7 as well, perhaps. What should I play? What to play? I guess I'll go e6 with the idea of meeting knight f3 with bishop e7, I suppose, preventing knight h4. Gnome, can you reload the page, clear the queue, and press disable and then enable? What do you mean, Kogita Chess? Well, anyways, let's go bishop e7 here. I defend against knight h4. Maybe bishop h3 actually was an interesting move in that position, preventing my opponent from castling. Maybe. Definitely was an option. Yeah, perhaps I should have tried bishop h3. But it's too late now. It's uh, too late to cry over spilled milk, as they say. Okay, do I go knight d7 or knight c6 in this position? Let's try knight d7 actually. Preventing a possible knight e5 move. And I guess I'll castle the queen side actually. Then I will push h5, h4, go bishop h3 and try and checkmate my opponent. Though if I castle right away, I'm afraid then knight b5 becomes very annoying. So I'm gonna have to address this move somehow. Gonna have to address it in a very funny way with bishop d6, but nah, that looks bad. Let's go c6 in this case. Yeah, bishop f4 is a good move, I guess. And next, I will probably play knight h6 uh, to get the knight out and then finally castle. Because if I go knight f6, I allow knight uh, h4 trapping my queen. Yeah, let's go knight h6 here. The knight is a bit misplaced here, but potentially I can put it on g4 or something. So this position isn't that bad for me, but it's not so good either. I'll at least I have all my minor pieces out in some way or another. So yeah, this line with queen g6 isn't too great objectively anyways. Okay, bishop f1, this is a slow move, let's castle. Though I suppose his intention is to go bishop g2 actually. Yeah, that makes some sense. But then I actually have the idea of going knight g4 followed by bishop c5 because d4 is met with bishop takes c2. Interesting. Yeah, I guess after the move bishop g2 I'll be going for the move knight g4. Try and activate my knight a little. And that's the first plan. Also, something like rook a d8 could make sense to put the yeah the rook on d8 would be a bit annoying, pointing towards his queen potentially. Yeah, here knight g4 was my intention anyway, so let's go for it.
Maybe I shouldn't have played that so fast, actually. Because he might have H3. I think I'm going to have to go back then. Okay, just goes here, which also makes some sense. But now I have to move bishop c5, I think. With the idea of bishop takes f2. Yeah, I think knight takes f5 runs into bishop takes f2 here, which is a pretty important detail. We also have ideas of queen h5 actually, threatening checkmate. So I think knight d5 is perhaps over optimistic in this position. Is Elam back? Hey, Ella, my good friend Elam Blitz, welcome to the stream, my friend, welcome to the stream. Playing followers on leeches. Yeah, I have a, I have quite a few IDs here actually, with a bishop takes f2 as well as queen h5 coming up quite soon. I could also go e5 at some point. Yeah, if my opponent will go something like knight c e2, then I would go for e5 actually. I guess let's threaten checkmate. Yeah, I've heard it's always a good idea to threaten checkmate in one move, so let's do it. This is, of course, an exaggeration, but it's uh, the idea that it sometimes is slightly unpleasant for your opponent to defend against a checkmate is a very sensible one. Because after h3, I'll be able to take on e3 and then take on h3, at the very least winning a pawn. Do I also have ideas of bishop takes d4 maybe? We'll have to wait and see. No, you play ub. I don't know what ub is, but uh, I might. Yeah, what is ub? What is UB catch chess? Okay, goes for H4 here, which is uh, a bit weakening. Intuitively, I just want to smash that bishop on E3. Get it off the board. You also have the option of going knight E5 in this position, actually. Trying to create an initiative this way as well. I think knight e5 is a pretty sensitive move actually, in an attempt to create an initiative. Looks fairly logical to me. Uh, with uh, quite a few threats, quite a few threats, which I'm not going to reveal in case my opponent is watching this stream, but... Uh, yeah, he went, he fell for a trick. He, he offers a take back, guys. He wants to take his last move back. Should I accept his take back, guys? Should I accept his take back? Well, let's make a poll on that, guys. Let's make a poll if I should accept his take back or not. Oh, no, it's lagging so much now. I'm not going to be able to make the poll in time. Don't accept it, says PN2206. Wait, how do I make a poll? Okay, don't accept it. Okay, fine. I guess I'm gonna decline his take back. Yeah, let's take on d2, guys. Yeah, I mean, if you don't want me to accept his take back, then I want pn 2106. Then I want. I can take on f5 with the queen now if I want. Why not? I clearly have nasty ideas of knight takes f2 and stuff. A lot of ideas in this position. On how to finish off my opponent. A burst meadow Lucian, thank you so much for the follow my friend, thank you so much for the follow. I've got takes f2 threatening checkmate, so let's play that. But then there is the move rook e2 actually. Yeah, then there is the move rook e2. And then I guess I need... What is this lag, guys? That's a bit annoying. Then I take on g3. He moves his bishop. Do I have any checkmates then? Probably not, so it's simpler to take on f8. My opponent is not going to survive this anyways, being a queen down for a rook with his king about to be checkmated. Uh, yeah, feel free to send me a challenge, uh, Burst, Meadow, B Meadow and Lucian. I'll accept your challenge. And I will accept your challenge.
Yeah, in this position, let's go queen f3 actually. Because I have to bishop g2, then I will go knight takes f2. Wait, why didn't I go knight takes f2? That would have been even better, perhaps. Yeah, knight takes f2 right away, winning the bishop would have been even better. Though this is, of course, completely winning as well. The idea is after rook e2, I play queen takes g3, threatening a checkmate on h2. And that should be completely winning for me, guys. Like, completely winning. Nah, cat's chest, that's a nice idea, moving uh, to Somalia, which is very famous for having very good internet connection. Uh, let's take on g3 in this position. Uh, next I want to go queen h2. Okay, my opponent is trying to avoid a checkmate, fair enough. I'm gonna be greedy and capture a pawn actually while I'm at it. Go here and then take on h4 and then think about what to do. Why don't I get another rook into the game, guys? That's the question. Getting another rook into the game seems to be one of the easiest ways to finish off my opponent here. Then let's go for queen f2 in this position, actually. And then I'm gonna take here. And then I'm gonna go for knight e3. And now it seems very difficult to defend against a checkmate in one. Because if rook g1 defending the bishop on g2, then I have queen h4 actually, followed by queen takes h3 checkmate. And that'll be game set match as they say. That'll be game set match. Uh, oh, how you can challenge me. Um, uh, you can, uh, my name on leeches is future WCC, so feel free to challenge me there. Anyways, let's go to the analysis board. Yeah, that's my sister there, popping a unicorn, I don't know why, but why not? Uh, for the sake of fun, I tried going for this candy in this position. After pawn takes d5, queen takes d5, and knight c3. The thing about the scandi is you're slightly behind in development. Do you have very good chances of equalizing, actually? And here queen e6 is a very rare line, but I've seen Magnus Carlsen try this line before. I'm Nicole. Nice to meet you, Nicole. Nice to meet you. Bishop e2, and here you have the idea of queen e6 is to go queen g6 here, which I think after knight f3, the queen takes d2, this is losing objectively, but uh, it's not as easy to punish black for this as you would have expected. I had a game like this, uh, which I played in the simul as black, and my opponent wasn't able to punish me at all. Am I late? Well, you're slightly late, 11 colors, but at least you're here. Welcome. Okay, my opponent went for g3 here, and I decided to develop a bishop f5, I threatened the pawn on c2 as well. Here my opponent went d3, and I fought for a long time, should I go e5, or should I go e6? I decided on going e6 in the end, which would have lost the game if my opponent would have played g4, wow. We both missed a g4, actually just wins my piece on... Uh... Yeah, g4 would simply have trapped my piece on f5. On f5. Wow, I cannot believe that. My opponent could have won the game, wow. Could have won the game so quickly as well. It would have been very hard to swindle him. He went knight f3. I decided to go bishop e7, defend against a potential knight h4 here. But yeah, knight e5, okay, and white has some initiative actually, yeah, that's, that's true. Okay, castles, knight d7. It seems as if uh, this is a terrible position for me. Yeah, I kept losing like that in this candy as white. Uh, bishop f4, but after c6 now, I'm not so sure how bad it is for me. Yeah, now it seems as if I have chances actually for a decent position. And here I missed my opportunity to push h5, h4 and go for here the h pawn with a good position suddenly. Instead I primitively developed my knight. Though I think I'm not much worse here either actually. 
Well, the computer disagrees. It says I'm somewhat worse, but it's not the end of the world bad. It's definitely a playable position. A bishop f1 with the idea of bishop g2. This is a very slow, slow idea. And besides, the bishop on g2 collides with the pawn on c6, actually. So the bishop on g2 is not so powerful at all. I stalemated Komodo. A uh, Komodo one. I see, I see. I thought you stalemated like the best chess engine, Komodo. Uh, no, play me. Okay, cat chess. I might, I might. We'll see. We'll see who the next challenge is, and I will accept it. Uh, queen d2. I decided to go knight g4 here. Though h3 is of course something I shouldn't have allowed. The idea is that they have to go back to h6. Because after uh, knight f6 here, then there is knight h4. And here I think my queen is going to be in a hell lot of problems. My queen is just trapped, it seems. And so I have to give up a piece in order to clear the way for my queen. But then I'm just going to be down an entire piece for no compensation here. So I would have had to go back to h6, and then I'm going back and forth, so that would have been a bad. Where is the music? Well, no one has uh, no one has used channel points to put on the music just yet, so... Yeah, and my opponent tried to go for knight d4. I went bishop c5, and after knight takes f5, I thought this would be an option. But I just miscalculated, which I realize now, because after I'm... Oh, queen takes f2, wow, I missed this. I completely missed this queen takes f2 move. Did you see it, guys? Or did you see the move queen takes f2? This is absolutely incredible. The idea is, of course, after queen takes f5, then I'm just down an entire piece. While uh, if I take the queen, then after knight e7, I'm down two entire pieces. So I would have to take an f5 and after d4 in that position, um, uh, white is better. Okay, but as my opponent played bishop e3 after queen h5, suddenly black is the one with the initiative. And my opponent went h4, a weakening move, but he had to play this in order to defend against the checkmate in one move. Hello, Metastreak, welcome to the stream, my friend. Welcome to the stream. We're just playing pretty much all challenges I get. Yeah, and I decided to play knight e5, threaten a potential knight uh, f3. But apparently after bishop e2, it's not so good for me. Wow, that's a bit strange. Yeah, but this is perhaps a slightly annoying pin. Though I would expect black to still have some way to get an advantage here. Black's position looks much more active than white's. Anyways, I mean this position... Uh, yeah, my opponent just blundered the game away, and here I'm just completely winning. Alright, we've got a couple of challenges, who should I accept? But this is with unlimited time, so let's accept the challenge of Cat's plays, actually. Let's accept...